Hello everyone, Snipe Training here. Um, today is Tuesday, March 26. Um, I'm here with a recap. Um, I traded two stocks today, uh, both on the short side, up a total of $264. Um, today was a pretty stressful day, although I was up today, it was pretty stressful. Um, I traded BBBY, which I'll um, go over in a second. Um, but let's get started here. So the first trade I did was SRNE. So SRNE um, on the daily here, um, it popped up uh, in pre-market and it kind of fell to hold this, uh, say this 550 area um, that was kind of acting as support resistance. You can see here on the five minute chart um, that it's pretty acting as pretty uh, key area. So when I saw it, uh, it um, so gapped up and then sold off, bounced off the 550 area and then dropped below it. I went ahead and started short. Um, and then I was seeing how it, uh, how, how well it hold this uh, 550 uh, below. So I held it, uh, I covered some here um, and then I shorted off the pop here. And then I was hope because this was a, a red to green move, um, or a green to red move, and I was hoping for a, another leg down, but it slowly went down, uh, created this higher low, and I ended up stopping out there for uh, a seventy-seven dollar win. Um, and later in the day, it re uh, pop up to retest the uh, VWAP, and then faded it back off all the way down to five dollars um so the next trade i did was bbby um i kind of over traded this but on the daily here it did a huge gap up um went above this um, resistance here at 1720 and potential to fill all the way towards the like the 18 area from the gap fill um but what i saw was uh initially I saw this uh, wedge forming right here. So I saw this wedge forming. It was getting tighter in this wedge and then it kind of broke down here. So when it broke down there, I went ahead and start short. Um, and then just a few moments, moments later, I thought this would be a head and sh uh, cup and mini cup and handle here the breakdown and then you can see that small wick there with an increase in small volume it got bought right back up um so i added more short there mm -hmm. in this anticipation of the uh leg down but it kind of popped back up went above this um i think i had this area drawn uh the 1770s or yeah the 1770s here um went back up above this uh downtrend or uptrend line and then went above mm -hmm. this uh wedge line and from there i was like uh okay this is this is a long setup that i recognize so if if you draw it here um it was holding pretty much holding this 50 area and holding vwap so I recognize this pattern uh, and there was a breakout here, uh, mini breakout, small volume. So I stopped out my sh my shares there for like a um, hundred dollar loss. Um, so I, I went in pretty big size here and then I stopped out um, there. And then I, uh, I was pretty short bias here, um, but I end up, when I saw this fail here, uh, I ended up shorting that pop, um, taking some off there, and then reshorted some pops and took off there. So I ended up uh, scalping some profits back, um, and then here's another pop uh, short uh, cover, um, some more shorts. Um, so I s so there was this downtrend here, 
um, and then you can see that it's going uh, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then I was waiting for it to crack BWAP. So when it popped back up here, uh, I, I sized in pretty big here, and I then I sized back down, um, and then I sized back in, and and then at this last part here, I accidentally um, misclicked my stop loss order, so. I wanted to put a stop loss at 1770, um, but then I think I uh, the trigger price was below um, by accident, and then it triggered right away. So I I I, I just got back in right away, um, but that was like a ten ten dollar loss um, just from that uh, misclick. So it, it end up it end up um, breaking VWAP, uh, taking some profit here at the 200 EMA, and then. My last profit taking, or I wanted to go down here um, at 17th, um, which was the low day. Um, but I took up, I took up the rest of my, sh the majority of my shares here, um, and then I took it off here at 17.27 or so for the rest of my profits, and that came to be a $186 winner um, for the day. So. This move here actually was like almost, uh, I'll say a $300 winner because I was down a hundred um, earlier from um, previously. And then I pretty much made some back and more. So, um, and it ended up fading through the rest of the day down to 1650, um, but it ended up retesting VWAP and it faded back down. So, um, yeah, so that's the end of my recap for today. Um, so thank you for everyone that um, is sticking around towards the end of the video. Um, really appreciate it. Um, so if you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, thank you.